This enchanting girl keeps eating every day. It was like she never stopped eating, eating one meal after another. As a result, she became a fat girl, and her boyfriend is a perfectly muscular man. She looks at herself in the mirror, and the swimming circles on her stomach. She tried to find something to wear that would make her look thin, but it either didn't fit or made her look even fatter, or even splitting in place. She finally managed to find something to wear when she was ready to go out, but her boyfriend had a look of disgust in his eyes. Anna suggested not going to the wedding. It would be nice to stay home and have a snack. Her boyfriend picked her up and put her on the table. He turned around and left alone. Anna thinks for a moment and then, she ran after him. But just as she reached the wedding, she saw a blonde girl twirling around beside her boyfriend. Anna rushed up to him. She wiggled her 200-pound body around and swore she was sovereign. To her surprise, her friend asks her if she's recently pregnant. Anna was devastated. At this point, her boyfriend added a further comment. He said he was fed up with the fat Anna. He no longer liked her, so he broke up with her. Anna was so upset that she cried her makeup off, and her boyfriend kicked her out of the house. Anna has to sleep on the balcony of her best friend's house. During the day she turns her grief into an appetite for food. At night she cries as she updates her ex-boyfriend. She's a total loser. For an unknown period of time, her best friend finally couldn't take it anymore. She told Anna that the guy didn't think you were fat. Then you should go to the gym and become thin and beautiful. Make him regret it. Anna thought it made sense. She made up her mind to lose weight, so she went to the gym. There were big muscles all over the place. Anna shuddered. She saw a woman lifting her legs. She thought to herself that she could do this, but she got tired after a few reps. The other machines don't last more than a few rounds. Just play ball. And the rack was completely knocked down. But she thought she'd lose weight with all that work. But it didn't make any difference. Instead, it made her eat more. And her best friend caught her red-handed. Anna complained that the gym was too difficult. And her best friend told her not to give up. Try other methods to lose weight. This girl was desperate to lose weight. She even put fat burning cream on her tummy. And then wrapped it in plastic wrap. But soon she couldn't resist going through the fridge. All the bread and cakes in her mouth. She heard that pineapples are good for weight loss. She bought six of them at once, but it turned out to be a marketing campaign for pineapples. She even tried diet gum, but Anna also finally realized that she had to keep her mouth shut to lose weight. So while others ate, she only drank water. As a dessert chef, she, she took a bite of 100 squats by mistake. She finally got to the end of her shift, but looking at the cake on the table, Anna's mouth watered, pacing back and forth in a painful struggle. After eye contact with the cake again and again, Anna finally couldn't resist the temptation. She finished it with tears in her eyes. She felt so useless, but in order to win back her ex-boyfriend, she joined a weight loss group again. This little fatty, Alan, says we can't lose weight. It's because we don't think we're fat enough, so we have to face up to the truth to change. He also volunteered to work out with Anna to monitor each other. So the two of them started to try running. The first time Anna ran for less than 3 minutes, the second time was 4 minutes. She started to fight the late night hunger, drinking more water every day. From mixed fitness to running with weights, Anna kept going, running from the park to the outskirts of the countryside. Eventually she ran a marathon. Anna wore herself out every day before she would rest. At the same time, she kept her diet in check, calculating her daily calorie and protein intake. Other people eat fried chicken. She ate only vegetables. Finally, after a lot of hard work, she managed to lose 30 pounds in a month. She rushed to buy a new swimming costume and went to see her ex-boyfriend. Anna went straight to the pool where he worked. The ex-boyfriend's eyes went straight to him. Anna pretended not to care about him, but in fact she was fascinated by his abs. The two of them fought and fought. Anna was overjoyed. She thinks she's finally got her love back, but suddenly a beautiful woman with a better body appears. The ex-boyfriend is stumped. Anna understands in a second, and she was devastated. So she goes to a bar alone and gets drunk, and almost gets picked up by a bearded man. Luckily Alan arrives just in time. He took a beating and took Anna to his car. Anna doesn't understand why her life is still bad when she's lost weight. Alan told her, it's because you grew up in a single parent home, lack of fatherly love, so you overeat and rely on your ex-boyfriend. You have to fill that void inside you if you want to change. So Anna contacted her father, whom she hadn't seen for years. She and Alan set out on a journey to find her father. The father already has a new family. He is indifferent to his daughter's presence. He only remembers her giving him the middle finger since she was a child. Girl is trying to win back her father's love. To regain her father's love, she experiences his sauna in the summer. She ends up setting fire to the sauna by mistake, but all her father cares about is saving his house. Luckily, Alan is able to put out the fire on Anna in time. However, her father still blames her. 
this breaks Anna's heart, but she was also grateful for what Alan had done for her. But it was this unintentional act. Alan felt like it was springtime for him. He bought some flowers from the roadside. He wanted to go back and confess his love to Anna. And at that moment, Anna's ex-boyfriend came with flowers to get back together with her. But Alan saw him. In the end, it was Alan's fault for being sincere. The ex-boyfriend said I like that you've lost weight. I want to keep in shape from now on. At this moment Anna finally realized. This man is an asshole. He only loved the way he looked. So Anna kicked him out. Devastated. Anna talks to her best friend. Only to learn that she was leaving for Moscow. Anna urged her not to go. She needs her love and help now. And her best friend finally gets angry. Don't I need it? You depend on me for everything. When will you ever grow up? After the argument, Anna left sadly. She went to see Alan again, but he was avoiding her too. Alan took out an apple and said this is you. You want to show everyone the good side. And what's behind it? It's rotten. You don't love yourself. How can anyone love you? And with that, she drove off alone. Anna was walking in the middle of nowhere, but was harassed by a group of hooligans. She had to run as hard as she could, until she collapses in the field, exhausted, and falls asleep. The next morning the harvester starts working. Anna is lying in front of the harvester. The driver happened to be looking down to pick something up. She was about to be harvested mercilessly. A man appears just in time to save her, and it was her mother's current boyfriend. Anna had thought he was just an alcoholic and didn't accept it. But after being rescued, Anna is finally able to get to know him in peace. It turns out he's making wine to support his life, to make things better for her mother. After realizing his intentions, Anna opens up her heart. When she came home with the man, her mother burst into tears, and Anna realized she had been too selfish. She had been longing to be loved, but had lost the ability to love. So she went to her best friend and apologized that I shouldn't have asked you to do that. Whatever you choose to do, I will support you unconditionally. And that's when Anna finally finally got over it, and she got her life back on track. But what she didn't expect was, her father came to see her. He put on the jacket he used to give her as a child. He danced the dance she used to love, despite the neighbor's stares. This time Anna gave him a thumbs up, and father and daughter finally made up. But then she remembered there was someone else, and that was Alan. But when she arrived at Alan's competition, she found out he still wasn't accepted by the team. So Anna found Alan. She spilled the hot drink he was holding. First, she apologized, and then reveals that you're the one who made me good. To find myself, now it's my turn to help you. So she got all those fat people who were looked down upon, and she entered the competition with them. The old Anna used to pretend, trying to make people like her. But now she knows she's got to experience nothing less. To see herself as she really is. To like herself from the bottom of her heart. Mustn't live in a delusion.